What's up, everyone? I'm back. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. First off, I want to send a shout out to Deborah Johnson, to Isaiah Jones, to Kenny Stanley from last Monday, um, and to Lexi for holding the, holding things down for us last week. And I, I heard they did amazing. So thank you. Thank you, Deborah, for hosting. Thank you, Isaiah, for doing everything that you do as a freelancer. Thank you, Lexi, for doing what you do with your internship as a News in Motion High School ambassador. And thank you, Kenny Stanley. And Kenny, we are praying that you have a full recovery. I said, I leave and you cut up. What's going on with that? So I want to say thank you to you. Uh, thank you all for all the um, anniversary shout outs, wishes, so forth and so on, prayers. We are appreciative to that. I have a little tan, can you tell? But no, we had a great time. So I just wanted to say um, it's good to be back during this holiday season. Let me see who's all out here. I see you, Tracy Newman. I see you, Robert Holman, Deborah Johnson, Adrian coming in from YouTube. Uh, again, Tracy Newman, Jeffrey Allen James, Dr. Antoinette. I see you, Lori Wallace. And we have a shout out about her a little bit later in this uh, morning's um broadcast. Um, uh, let's see, Rosanna, what's up? Uh, Devante Goins. I see you, Kim Edmondson, and I see many of you popping in here, so I'm trying to grab you as you come in here. I must say, I miss you all. I do. Um, I'm on a different time zone still, but it was still important for me to get up and get moving so I could come to you um, all this morning. I'm excited about it. I'm excited. Y'all, we have some news. Y'all, today is Monday, December the 5th, 2022, and it's time for today's headlines, weekend recap, and some other things that are going on. I see you, Shardinia. Um, I am your host, Gail Dudley. For those of you who are joining us by audio or YouTube or LinkedIn or the podcast or Facebook, wherever you're tuning in from, I just want to say good morning to you. Um, and this is what we do, y'all. Do y'all know we are two and a half years old at this point. Um, we're going into that three-year mark and we're real excited about it. Um, along with that, along with that, we wanted to announce that we did remove the news and motion from Twitter. There's too much going on there. So we actually removed the Ready publication from Twitter. We removed um, news and motion for Twitter. Right now, Gail Dudley is still on Twitter just to try to keep a gauge of what's going on. Because if I came off, I would not be able to gauge it. So I'm leaving it on there at least until the end of the uh, first quarter of 2023 to see what happens. Um, but we have removed it from um, the news and motion we have removed from Twitter as well as Ready Publication. So we wanted to let you know that. Um, if anyone is looking for us and that was your uh, place of going, check out some of the other places as well. All right, Georgia, you're up. You're up, Georgia. Georgia, tomorrow, if you haven't already voted early in this runoff election, please um, make your way to the polling location tomorrow, which is Tuesday, December the 6th. Thank you, Devante, for reaching out. Uh, when I was able to get some internet, I was seeing some of the things that were popping up. And he was like, are you watching this? I said, watching what? And so he gave me the information, the long lines. People were standing in lines anywhere from four to seven hours early voting. I got some information for y'all on this. What's up, Marion Jackson? Uh, y'all, Georgia has set a new record for early voting ahead of Tuesday's tomorrow's runoff election between Senator Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker. Y'all, with more than 76,000 new voters who did not vote in the general election, they have voted early according to an analysis. Y'all, by the way, I don't get what's up with Herschel Walker being joined by one or two of the GOP senators when he is speaking nationally. I don't know if y'all caught that, but that's what's happening. I see you, Karen. Uh, y'all, they are talking more than he is. So even if they are finding that he's having trouble communicating and getting across their agenda, they're coming on speaking for him. That should be a red flag. I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican or independent. When someone else has to speak for you, to get their agenda across, you have to be paying attention. And y'all, Kenny Stanley just popped in on the chat. Kenny Stanley, we are continuously praying for you, and we hope that you are doing well. Uh, make sure you rest. Don't jump out there too soon. And we're going to miss you a game over until you return. But we want you to take 
your time. And don't go anywhere. I'm going to try to play a little bit of sports today. We're going to see how that works out. Don't talk about me, Kenny. All right, y'all. More than 1.85 million uh, uh, people in Georgia have voted early, according to the Office of the Secretary of State, Brad Rasperger, uh, breaking a two-day single record in about a week. Y'all, NBC News reports, get these numbers, y'all. What's up, Adrian? Um, among those who have already turned out in Georgia, 56% were women and 44% are men. White voters made up 55% of early voters. 32% were Black and Latinos and Asian Americans, each accounted for less than 2% of the total. But they are turning out. So let's plan your vote. Let's plan your vote, George. Let's plan your vote. Um, what do you need to bring? I want to go over this list. And if any of you have anybody in Georgia that they need this information, please tell them to tune in because this is they're, they're turning away some people. So we want to make sure they have the information they need. Um, uh, Jeffrey Allen James says they're backing off of him now. Obama is breaking his back. Look, they're coming out. Even Jamal Bryan, who we had on our program earlier this year, is really coming out exposing some things. So um, people just pay attention. Um, you want somebody who's going to represent the constituents and not represent an agenda. Um, and you're just using that person. Um, valid IDs, uh, state or federal government issue photo ID. Um, now you can also, if you're in Georgia and you're like, I don't know where my ID is, you can get a free ID card issued today by the Georgia Department of Driver Services, whether that's a state ID or federal ID, you can get that today and it is free. It is free. Um, you need a Georgia's driver's license. Even if it's expired, you can use that. And let me change that. You don't need it. If you have a Georgia's driver's license, you can use it even if it's expired. Student ID from a Georgia public college or university will work. Valid employee photo ID from any branch, um, department, agency, or entity of the U.S. government, Georgia, or county. Valid U.S. passport ID. Valid U.S. military photo ID containing a photograph of the voter. Uh, a valid tribal photo ID containing a photograph of the voter. Um, you can bring one of any of those seven that I just shared. We will try to get this link to you so that you can have it and you can pass it on. Um, again, you can get a free a photo ID today. You can get that today. You can even get it tomorrow, but why wait? Might as well get it today. Early voting ended on Friday. Polls will open tomorrow at 7 a.m. and they will stay open till 7 p.m. And on the day of election, you can only vote at your precinct, okay? Y'all check your uh, voter page on the Secretary of State of Georgia's um, page. When I was looking, Ballotpedia's was not the same as the Secretary of State, so you want to check that. The other thing I want to share with you, lines are long. They are long in Georgia, and they're expecting them to be long tomorrow during the actual day of voting, which is December the 6th. So I'm going to go through our list again. Um, Y'all want to have your own bottled water. Remember, do not receive any bottled water from anyone who's passing out water. It's a distraction and you will be played. You will be removed from the line. So please, please, please don't do that. Um, uh, have whatever you need, your sandwich. I don't know what the weather is there, but I think you're okay. But I still will stay away from uh, mayonnaise. I would just stay away from that. Um, you cannot have any alcoholic beverages. So please be aware of that as well. Uh, Dr. Antoinette said, bring your own water. That's right. Bring your own bottled water. Um, the other thing that you need, um, you may need a chair, especially if you have trouble standing up, something to read, your, your AirPods headphones, whatever, have a portable battery for your phone to recharge your phone if need be. I'll have an umbrella if they're expecting rain. What's up, Latrice Jones? Um, Y'all just be prepared. Plan your vote. There's only one thing on your ballot. That's the runoff election. Are you voting for the Democrats, the current Senator Raphael Warnock, or are you voting for, I'm going to try to keep this a straight face, or are you voting for uh, Herschel Walker, who tells you all that he lives in Texas. 
So you got to figure out what you're going to do. Uh, Dr. Antoinette said, leave your man, catch your shoes at home. Listen, you want to be comfortable. Have on some tennis shoes. Ladies, leggings, not tights. Leggings that will never get old. Leggings, not tights, y'all. Leggings. You'll be in line. You'll be in line. Um, and, and news places are out there. So if you are calling off work to go vote, make sure you're not being photographed, okay? Because you don't have to sign anything, a waiver or anything. If the news is out there and they catch you and you told them you went home sick, but you're out there voting, just be honest. Just be honest that you're going out here to vote. Um, this is this is really serious, y'all. So Georgia will, again, tomorrow we'll put some more information out in the morning, but we wanted to get this out to you. Tomorrow is the day. All right, y'all, we are continuously praying for Kenny and his recovery. And again, he is in the chat this morning. He is home and resting. Um, and he wants to thank all of us for his prayers. Again, I left. I'm like, what's happening here? What, what's going on? Who's sick? What? Who's having surgery? What's going on here? But we're glad to see that you are recovering and at home, Kenny Stanley. So be well. With that said, I have no idea what's going on with sports, but I have two things I want to say. Number one, why are the people mad at Deion Saunders? I don't get it. I don't get it. He's leaving Jackson State. I guess he's going on to where he's going. People are mad. They're mad. What would you do for your money? What would you do? So there's that. I don't get it. I don't get it. The other thing is the memes had me hollering yesterday. I was like, what is going on? What? Michigan? Ohio State? What? Y'all, they were Ohio State fans that woke up. They got up from the grave. They have been so depressed for so long. They're up saying, what? Here we go. Let's go. Let's do it. Y'all, this is going to be so exciting. Ohio State thought they were just completely out. What's up, Dr. Shannon? What's up? Um, uh, oh, and see, I see it. Uh, Lori says, them boys did their thing yesterday. So that means the Cowboys won yesterday. Y'all, I'm not even going to pretend. I don't know. I just want to talk about Ohio State and Michigan. I was actually gone. Now, y'all, this y'all going to have to pray for me. Y'all going to have to pray for me. I'm in a different time zone. I'm like, um, over here, do y'all do y'all have what you call something I can watch the Ohio State, Michigan game? They're like, what? <laughs> y'all, I found it. I was going through the streaming on my iPad, like somebody got to carry this game, somebody. And it was, uh, the time difference was so different. I'm like, I know it's bright and early here, but I got to find this game. So I was able to see the kickoff and I was able to see Ohio State's first touchdown. That's all I was able to see. And I was like, oh, we got this. Later on, I'm like, what? What happened? How did that happen? So anyway, look, the game's a game. So I guess I'll say this. Is it Kim Edmondson? She's a Michigan fan. I think Latrice Jones. I don't think she's a Ohio State fan. Let me see. Who else? Phillip's not on here, but Phillip Bridges. Um, not unless he popped in. He's he's not an Ohio State fan. There's some other of you um out here. But so I'll just say this. I'll be the bigger person and just say congratulations a, a week later. Kim Edmondson talking about Go Blue. That would be a great rematch though. Just want to say, all right, y'all, I'm trying to like, uh, Deborah and set a standard that she was done in 30 minutes. So I'm trying to hit that standard too. So let's keep going. Y'all, New York Times report. That's right, Adrian. O-H-I-O. -O. Oh, Latrice Jones said in the Steelers one. See, I don't know anything about it. So Kenny, you're going to have to hurry up and come back. All right, y'all. New York Times reports that Iran has abolished the uh, morality police, according to an announcement by their attorney general, following months of protests set off uh, by the death of the young woman, um, and I want to make sure I say this correctly, um, um, Masse uh, Amini, uh, who was age 22, um, who died in September, who was murdered in September, let's call it what it is. So that protest set off. Um, a lot of people were continuously protesting. Um, they were protesting the, count, the country's strict um, Islamic dress laws. So it appears to be a major victory for um, many of women and feminists who have uh, really fought for years to dismantle this force, which was in place since 1979. So there's a win there. So we're, we're excited to see that. So y'all protest does make a difference. And also notice, y'all, they were protesting from September 
until just recently. And they're still out there in the streets even today. So we have to be mindful of that. You have to be in it continuously. You cannot get distracted. You cannot get sidetracked. So y'all, I'm going back to an oldie but goodie. Will they, won't they? Uh, will the parties listen to the people who voted during the midterm elections? Because loud and clear, there was not a red wave or blue wave. It wasn't even a purple wave. There wasn't a wave. It's almost like gridlock. So will they listen? Will the parties keep digging into uh, Hunter Biden or move on for the people because the people have already spoken? And will the parties focus on the will of the people or will they keep their own agendas? A lot of questions we have to answer and we have to wait and see. I wasn't able to sit here to say it, but I believe Deborah did, but I have to say it uh, uh, as well. Uh, congratulations to uh, uh, Jeffries winning that that speaker spot, minority speaker for the House. Y'all, that's history. That's great news. That's exciting. Y'all, that's what happens. And people was not expecting him to come through there. He was not contested and he won. That sends a major message, a major message. Now, y'all, if y'all, we could just make it stop. Can we make it stop? On Saturday, the former guy took to true social platform calling for the suspension of the Constitution. Who are you? That's not going to happen. Uh, he says, you know, something we all hope to hear uh, from before man running, a massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even though found in, even those found in the Constitution, he wrote on Truth Social. Our great founders did not want and would not condone false and fraudulent elections. Dude, are you that hurt? Really, are you that butt hurt? Are you that hurt? Honey, it is over. It is over. We are going into 2023. Why are we still talking about this? Really, you sound like a broken record and you really need to go somewhere, get your pacifier, sit down someplace and just concede forever and don't come back. Because I remember you saying, and we have this on tape. Not today, but y'all can find this out there. Google it, YouTube it, whatever. You said if you lose, we would never hear from you again. And we hear from you every day. Stop. Just stop. We just need you to stop. Y'all, AP is reporting that um, he is facing criticism from both parties after calling for the termination of parts of the Constitution over his 2020 election lies. Y'all, even Representative Mike Turner, a Republican here in Ohio, said he be uh, that he uh, disagrees with Trump's statements, saying that he should be a factor, that they should be a factor as Republicans decide who to lead their party in 2024. So now you have people coming out. They're like, they're done. They're done. They're just done. And I think the Constitution may have broken their backs. Uh, the White House also weighed in saying, you cannot only love America when you win. Boom, booyah, somebody. That's the AP. That's reporting. Latrice Jones said that former guys need to be put in a small room to reflect on his actions. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, uh, Adrian says, why is he still talking at all? That's the question. Yes, Karen, get your a fire, give him his medication. You know, y'all. And I don't, and when I when I when I talk about this former guy and his the stuff that's going on with him, I understand mental health is real. And my thing is if he needs help, we keep talking about Kanye needing help. I'm not talking about him today, but Kanye needing help. We got to look at Elon Musk needing help. We need to look at Donald Trump needing help and others. It just can't be the select few that we want to highlight. We need to talk about all of them. And they can really, the three of them can get together someplace, build their own island and be gone. Just be gone. Y'all, Axios is reporting that Uvalde survivors filed $27 billion class action lawsuit. At the same time, Alex Jones is now um, uh, fouling, uh, saying that he don't have any money, that he's just broke, that he can't pay the people that he lied on, tortured, and harassed. He's just saying he can't do it. So he filed bankruptcy. Yeah, uh -huh, they're going to find your money. You didn't get rid of You've hidden that money. But understand, there's a trace. Even if you took it overseas somewhere, they're going to find that money. You're going to pay those people. Y'all, in CNN reports, this is interesting, y'all. The Kentucky Christmas Parade, their major Christmas parade has been canceled due to threats of protesters calling for Emmett Till's accuser to be arrested. So there's uh, a lot of chatter about that. 
Um, people are talking about it. People are bringing it up, especially after the uh, movie Teal. So if y'all have not seen that, I would encourage you to see that. Um, just to, you, and, and they, they, they're they very clear. They're, they've taken away the violence, but they left the substance there of that movie. So you want to check that out. Uh, Leah says, 45 needs a conservator like Britney Spears <laughs> And Latrice says, of course he ain't got no money. Right, right. Uh, of course. What's up, Diane Ladybug? What's up? I got my refund, Diane Ladybug. All right, y'all, talking about vindication. This is how you know you've been vindicated. I know Megan per Merkel. She's probably sitting back the Duchess of Sussex saying, I told y'all. I told y'all. Um, so here's the question. King Charles, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Come on, the lady in waiting and resign, which, y'all, I tried to figure this out over the weekend. What was she waiting for? What was the lady in waiting, waiting for? Is the lady in waiting, because she served the, the late queen. So was she waiting for Prince, for uh, the Duke of Eldenburg? I mean, what was, what's that role? I, I don't get it. I don't get the lady in waiting piece. It's like, what was she waiting for? So Megan, I told y'all, she already told y'all. That's what you call vindication for real. All right, y'all. This will never, ever, ever get old. Bring back, bring home Brittany Griner. Y'all, Secretary of State uh, Anthony uh, Blinken said that the U.S. is actively working to secure the release of the WNBA star Brittany Griner and former Marine Paul Whelan, two Americans in prison in Russia. Uh, the Secretary of State Blinken said that the U.S. put forward, forward a significant proposal months ago Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says that they've been engaged repeatedly in any way they can to try to advance it. Um, now, the Russian media said the U.S. has offered up arms dealers in exchange for Griner and Whalen. So we're going to wait this out. And this is coming from HuffPost, Politico, Washington Post, and others, uh, NPR and others. But y'all bring back, bring home Brittany Griner. Um, what, what, whatever needs to be done, let's get it done. Let's get it done. Marion Jackson said the lady in waiting was waiting on her old man. I guess, whatever. Uh, Karen says waiting on the queen. I guess, all right. So y'all, we do want to continuously. So even now, if you want to write um, your representatives, and we haven't done that in a while yet, we have, I'm being funny, but write them and say whatever we need to do to bring home Brittany Griner. And then also add in there um, um, Marine Paul Whelan, that's W-H-E-L-A-N. We want to bring them home. We want to. Yeah, before I get to our business highlight today and our inspirational message, I'm going to make that 30 minutes, y'all. Um, tomorrow is going to be real important. We're going to forecast what we're doing uh, come January 2023. And I think you all are going to be so excited. I know I'm excited about doing the work and continuously the, continuing this work. Even this morning, I shared with my husband, I said, there's something about what I do I just love. I said, I absolutely love it. I said, for someone who does not make any money from this, I love this. I love jumping up in the morning to do this. I missed y'all. I enjoyed my vacation. I enjoyed my time with my husband, but I still missed you all. I do. And I, I'm constantly looking at news. And I had to find myself halfway through that time, like turn off the news, like get away from this. You can survive without this. But I enjoy it. I love bringing y'all facts. I love bringing y'all information. I love motivating you. I love helping you um, find, uh, navigate your way through elections and civic engagement. And I love advocating on your behalf. When you look at the word activist, when you look at that word, that's a person who wants to put forth the truth and put forth social change. And that's what I pride myself on doing. The other thing I want to share with you, um, back to the election real quick before I go to the business highlight. highlight. Y'all return your ballots in Georgia. You have until 7 p.m. Um, on election day to return to return your ballot, your absentee ballot. There are drop boxes throughout. Make sure you do that. The other thing I want to bring you aware of is um, you can take a transportation called Lime, um, Limes to the Polls. Now they're in partnership 
with when we all vote. Um, and they want you to use this code. So um, Isaiah, I, I know I'm throwing this on you, but this just popped up. I want to get this to you. If you can make a banner on this, this will be great. If any of you could put this in the thread, this will be great. Um, if you are listening by audio or podcast, just come back to the Facebook page and you'll see this information because we want you all to have it. And if you don't live in Georgia, no problem. Share this with someone in Georgia. Um, you want to use this code and it's all caps. Georgia Runoff 2022, all one word, no space. Georgia Runoff 2022. Again, use this code, Georgia Runoff 2022. And it's for two free 30 minute rides. Um, now they say terms and conditions. Thank you, Isaiah. They say terms and conditions apply. Um, again, that's line to the polls, Georgia runoff. I'm assuming it is a ride share. Um, I'm gonna give y'all. Um, uh, I just have line line to the polls. That's the code for two free 30 minute rides. Um, so if you need transportation there, I don't see anything else. So if someone wants to send me that, whatever it was, that's what popped up. Um, so line to the polls and use the code Georgia Runoff 2022 for two 30 minute free rides. Now I from I'm looking at this thing. Um, it's a press release. It looks to be that you can have them drop you off. Um, that's the 30 minutes. So you're within a 30 minute uh, ride spot and then you can have them come back and pick you up. You would just uh, get that per that particular driver's information to have them come back to pick you up. You don't want them to stay because that will take up your 30 minutes. So that's 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. You get two of those so two people can ride together. Now, if you go over the 30 minutes, either direction, they will charge you. It looks like a dollar per five minutes. So you may end up paying, what, um, $3, $4, something like that. So just have that information handy for those of you who are in Georgia. Don't miss that. Please don't miss that. All right, I want to get to our business highlight. I want to get to our business highlight. Um, um, all, all month on my Instagram, and we'll also do it here on the days we're on, um, on News in Motion, I have been posting a business. It's my gift back to all of you. Um, thank you to everyone who um, sowed seeds of $31. We ended up, um, early on, there was only a few families. We ended up helping 29 families this Thanksgiving. We want to continue that going into Christmas. We want to make sure people have um, meals, have toys, have gifts, whatever. We know it's not about the gift giving, but well, how are you going to tell a child you're not going to get a toy? You're not going to get a gift. So we're going to continue that. Now, if you do this on your own, which you can, make sure you are vetting the organization of, of where you're giving your gifts. Make sure you're vetting the organization. Make sure that your money is not going all to operations. There's a difference. You really want the money to go to the people by way of food, living expensive transportations things like that so you got to you you got to vet the places that's why we do it um through news in motion and others but um another part of our giving back is that we want to give back to businesses in today's business highlight we are highlighting Lori A William Wallace, Williams Wallace and her businesses she has several but we're going to highlight two one, set the atmosphere, interior design, and home decor. Email her in the email. Thank you, Isaiah. The email is already up, which is setthatmosphere at gmail.com. Lori was recently um, <clears throat> at a, um, it's called NABO in Central Ohio. Y'all, Lori talks about what she does, <laughs> but when I turned the corner and saw her booth and saw all of her amazing work. I was with someone who purchased two of her humongous major art pieces. Y'all, her work is phenomenal. Um, I always knew that, but there was something about seeing it all. I said, I get my journal. I was out of town, so I didn't get it. Y'all, she makes these journals. Nothing, you've never seen anything like this before. Mm -mm, never, never. 
Never. You, you've never seen anything like this before. Um, I believe they're $25. I don't know. Y'all support this woman and her business. That's number one. Number two, remix fashions. Uh, she redesigns chic and using denim, leather, camouflage, and turning something that you have old into something new. Um, I, we've been texting each other back and forth for about a couple months. I got to find me a blue jean jacket because I need her to turn this blue jean jacket into something of her wearable art. Y'all, it's priceless. I was even looking at some of her items when I was at NABO and I said to myself, wow, that can even be framed. This jacket can be framed. This blouse can be framed. These pants can be framed because y'all, it's art. It is art. I want y'all to check her out. Um, email her, ask her, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, do a consultation with her. Y'all phenomenal. These make, these will make perfect gifts for yourself or for someone else. So y'all check out these people. Um, we'll put all of her information on the, her own link when I do her, the Instagram page today. So, so that will also fold over to the news and motion page, but y'all don't sleep on Lori A. William Wallace, Williams Wallace. Don't sleep on her. Mm -mm. I was like, what? And it's, you know, you can know someone, you can see their things, you can support them, you can be excited for them. But there was something about when I turned that corner and so much so, she'll tell you this. I turned the corner and I was like, wow. And I saw Lori. I was like, Lori, I had missed her when I walked by. I was so enamored with what she had and what was on display that I didn't even see Lori. Y'all, her stuff is phenomenal. You don't want to miss it. All right, y'all, the inspirational message today. Here we go. Enjoy the season. Y'all can see I have my Christmas stuff up. And then I also have my Santa mug, my black Santa mug up. Y'all enjoy the season. Don't be stressed out. If you don't have money to buy gifts, don't. You want to make something, make something. There's something, I believe I shared this with y'all last year. I'll share it again this year. Um, There was a year in my family. My family's huge. And, and we don't really exchange gifts. We normally pull a name and we buy for that person. Well, my mother-in-law shared with me when I was in Florida one Christmas with the family, with my husband's side of the family, we all went to Dollar Tree and we all had to find something that represented that person. And we told a story as to why we bought that person that item. So in that case, I think there was a total of eight of us, maybe 10 of us. So we spent $10, but it was fun going through Dollar Tree, finding that one item for that person and, and identifying and saying, I bought this for you because of X. Y'all, so it doesn't have to be anything all great and grand. It has to be from the heart. Enjoy the season. Stop trying to buy these crazy items. The question is, does the person really need it? Do they want it? Is it really something you just want to do or is it something they just really need? Y'all enjoy the season. Play your music, whether that's Christmas music, Hanukkah music, whatever your, 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 your holiday things are. Enjoy, decorate, have fun fun. Um, do something joyful. Pick up somebody's coffee. You know, this is a season, whether you're in Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or wherever, that you pay it backwards. You don't pay it forward because that means you're paying for the person in front of you. You're sending it back. Do something. Leave a note cheering somebody up. Y'all just enjoy the season. Watch some movies, some Christmas movies. Um, harass Hallmark like I do. I'm just joking. I really do harass them. I tell them all the time, Black people do that. Like, stop giving me all of these um, movies that are so love, which they're nice movies. I watch them. But I say, Black people can do that. Black people string popcorn. Black people sing carolin. Black people go to church. Black people make meals in kitchens. We do all kinds of things. Decorate the Christmas tree. Just have some fun. Enjoy the season. Don't stress out. It's all for one day but just enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. All right, y'all. So glad to be back. I'll be back tomorrow. I think I hit it at 35 minutes, so we can get out of here. Y'all know what I say. Stay well, y'all. Remember, make some bold moves. We'll see you tomorrow.
Dankeschön. Ja.